So we're just gonna stick it out? Lisa, shut up! You're really making me mad! <laughs> It's Jessica and welcome to Remember Remember. So, uh, I think this was like a few months ago, last year, back in October, Michaela Laws, who is the creator of You May Know Seduce Me, and uh, Ethan Nakashima, who has also worked on Seduce Me and is the voice of Matthew in Seduce Me, uh, they, they were working on a game together called Remember Remember. Remember and this is it. So, if you guys haven't seen the prologue or the first part of the game, I had played the demo, and if you want to see it, there's a link in the description, and you can just watch it first, because I'm going to continue where it le leaves off on the demo. And uh, before we get started, if you guys would like to get the game yourself, there is a link in the description where you can get grab the game, and it is on Steam, it's on Itch.io, and if you guys want to support Michaela and Ethan, I will leave their links to their stuff, to like their Patreon and their Twitter and all that stuff, so that they can make more games. I'm really excited about this, because like, you guys know I'm not like a fan of horror, I don't, I don't enjoy the horror genre, but I was very intrigued because this reminded me of, um... What is that game called again? God damn it! I know that one of the versions is 999, where um, everything you do can cause the other players to die. It's kind of like Saw. Kind of like Saw in a bit of a way. So I'm wondering what's gonna happen here, like if it's possible to kill anyone at this point. But just a recap in case anyone missed the beginning of this game. So we're playing Chris who's the main character, uh, him and his friends were going off to graduation. They had nowhere to get- no way to get there until some random person came out of nowhere with a car and be like, Yo, come on kids, I'll drive you to your graduation, don't worry, I'm not some creepy maniac. And uh, after that they got knocked out, they woke up into this place and they can't escape. Uh, and now they're wearing these bracelets that will like electrocute them if they try to leave or anything like that. And um, this- this place and this person who's running the place is- uh, we don't know who it is. But they apparently know where Chris's sister is, Sarah. Sarah has been missing because apparently she got kidnapped and a bunch of stuff happened. But it, it just seems like it's all relating to Chris and his sister. So we're going to see what happens. I think I, I don't know if I said this in the, when I played the demo that I made pr the prediction maybe Sarah was like behind all of this. But I'm not too sure anymore. We'll see. Anyway, let's, let's continue. Uh, Chris? Uh-oh. Hey, Chris. Are you okay? Peter, I imagine he wouldn't of be. Of course he's not okay, dumbass. One of us apparently has something to do with his sister's kidnapping. Oh, that's right. One of them in this room has to deal with it. Like, they have, like, some part of that story. That's ridiculous. We're friends, for God's sake. Why would any of us be involved? That's the thing, though. We can't remember how long we've been friends or why we're all friends in the first place. And also, they can't remember anything that happened before this, so that's nice too. <laughs> so, you can't say for sure that none of us were involved. I'm I'm kind of curious who might it be now. From like what I've seen through like playing video games and movies and stuff like that, the bad guy essentially is always like either the nicest one, the quietest one, or the one who's closest to the the protagonist. And Peter is like the nicest one. So, my prediction, may it might be Peter, just maybe, but may may maybe Michaela and Ethan pulled, like, a red herring and it's not him. Could be, like, fucking Lisa or something, because I was mad at her. <laughs> <laughs> Even I'm gonna call bullshit on that. Why would anyone who calls themselves a friend do something like kidnap a little girl? That freak behind the mask is trying to make us turn against each other. None of us could have done it or could have even gotten away with it. Could. Still. Nothing makes sense. Who was involved and how do I find out? Do I have to keep playing the game? Do I have to drown one of them? Is that even possible? Or do I have to wait until the sedative wears off to figure out all of that? That would take a while, but I get an answer one way or another. I mean, uh, for me personally, I would wait till the drugs wore off rather than kill one of them, but you know. If I could only remember the day she was taken, maybe the day could spark up more memories. Well, for now, we pretty much have to wait it out. And wait for the mask to throw us in water tubes again? Absolutely not. Do you have any better ideas? Yeah, we what else are they gonna do? Out, We've tried that, Lisa. We can't get out. So we have to suck it up and let this guy attempt to drown us? No. We have to suck it up and trust Chris not to let us die. Huh? We all heard what the mask said. Chris is special. He's the one who has to go through that maze game or whatever and make sure we don't drown. He trusted all of us for years. 
So now we have to trust him. I don't like this responsibility because I'm gonna kill one of them, and I know it's gonna be by accident too. Even after hearing one or more of them was involved, they still hope to trust me. They're my friends, but you're right, Chris. I trust you. Yeah, you're a good person, Chris. Or was it Chris all along? Dun, I can't dun. remember how we became friends. I can feel that I can trust you to get us through this. Same with me. The situation may be really scary, but we'll get out of here somehow. Um, this is really- this is a really messed up situation. I, I need to go lay down. I think he should. Chris? Let Chris go, Rosa. Rest is probably the best thing right now. Alright. How could this happen? Why is this happening? Was it the kidnapper that took Sarah, or is there more to the story? I think there's more. It can't just be like that. If one or more of my friends are involved, then there has to be more of the situation. What if it was accidental? What if they weren't involved and the kidnapper's just trying to trick me? If I could only remember what happened that night, why wasn't I watching her? How could I have let her slip away from me? Think! Think! Whoa. <clears throat> the hell? I remember, it was only one night and I was cleaning my room and not watching her like I was supposed to. Something very heavy was on my mind, so I kept mindlessly cleaning, dusting every surface, and reorganizing the entire shelf and closet. The vacuum we had was old and loud, so everything was drowned out while I cleaned. I didn't even hear the front door open. When I finished at last, I remembered my responsibility and began to search the house for Sarah. Sarah? Sarah, where are you? Oh god. Why is the... Oh my god. Sarah! I looked everywhere around the house, but there was no sign of her. I ran outside, but she wasn't anywhere in sight. Sarah! I ran up and down the street desperate to find Sarah. Some neighbors rushed out asking what the shouting was about, but I barely had time to answer. All I could do was shout for her. That's when I saw... someone. Who? How did I... remember that? Huh. Maybe the beta blockers aren't as strong as the kid never thought, or maybe I'm just fighting through it better than I expected. Ugh, but my head's killing me. I'm about to... Chris, you'll save me no matter what, right? What? Absolutely. I'm your knight. <laughs> hey, I love you so much. Chris, Sarah, it's time to come back inside. All right. Come on, Sarah. Let's go. Aw, but I want to play outside more. I know. We'll play some more tomorrow, okay? Promise? I promise. Oh, dear. This is not this? good. Come on, wake up. Huh? Hey, Lisa. Lisa, when did you get in here? Hey, are you okay? I mean, let's be honest, no. <laughs> what happened? I blacked out from a headache. It's gone. For now. Yeesh, I'm sorry. Now, I don't like that I gave you an option to not answer. That's just kind of freaking me out. Like, I shouldn't trust anybody in this, you know what I mean? Anyway, what's up? Well, since we really can't tell what time it is in here, Peter decided to follow his gut and made his food in the kitchen. Really? Yeah, I didn't know he could cook. Or maybe we just can't remember him ever cooking. Well, at least the kidnapper isn't letting us starve. Yeah, come on. Oh, good, uh, morning? How do you know what time it we is? can't even tell if it's morning. Oh yeah, okay. Have a good nap, Chris. How long was I out? If we had to guess, two hours, maybe three? Not like we have a clock or our cell phones to know the time. Well, at least our stomachs don't lie to us. What the? Soup and sandwiches? It's made of soup with grilled cheese sandwiches. The fridge isn't exactly stocked with good stuff. That still sounds good, I mean like, Including you know. Including bread? Yeah, we only have things that will last for a month. Great. If you take care of sealing it and stuff, it can last a while. I guess the kidnapper assumes that we're smart enough to know how to store things. Sheesh, we're acting like we're gonna- we're acting like we're gonna be here forever. Eat. We don't know when the kidnapper is gonna make us do that game again. Can we not talk about that? I at least want to pretend that we're not in danger. While I, I don't. Eat. I don't like that Lisa is such in denial about this. Even in the when I played the demo earlier, she was so like, "Oh, who cares? We don't need to figure out anything. The the guy's just gonna kill us anyway." Like, dude, if you're trying to like, if if you're trying to make me believe that you're not involved, like at least do a little better job. At the same time, like I get it, you're scared, but you can't be all like. Oh, who cares? Uh, we're- this guy's just gonna kill us. Wouldn't you want to figure out how to get out of here and stuff like that? Right. Peter's a decent cook. You can tell that the soup came from a can, but he made it work alongside the sandwiches. At least we have one decent cook from what we can remember. Rosa, 
What's wrong? You're not eating. I'm worried. About our families. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh shit, Rose is right. What about our families? That's right. Oh my god. Mom's probably worried sick. That's true, they were off to graduation. Do you think they're looking for us? If this kidnapper is as smart as he claims to be, he probably already halted or stopped any investigation for us. What do you mean? Think about it. He planned this whole thing out to get us down here and play his stupid game of death. If he didn't plan on hiding us from our folks or the police, then he's a shitty kidnapper. Yeah. And he's already proven to be a good one. I I mean, it's true, because, like, if... This seems very planned. This doesn't seem to be, like, you know, I'm just gonna like, take these kids and, like, put them in the uh, game of death for no reason. I feel like this guy definitely planned this over time. Like, he didn't think about this yesterday. He was thinking about this for months, maybe even years to do this, so I'll yeah. agree. I bet he's already covered any tracks to us. Jeez, great way to think, guys. Lisa, shut the fuck up! <laughs> what else are we supposed to think? I don't know. Maybe that we won't die in this place, and maybe that we'll be saved. <sighs> Lisa, as much as we want to, I don't think we can. You can cut the tension in the air like a knife, but we should be on. But we should hope beyond hope that we'll be found. Or will this be our final resting place? Well, I don't think we'll die here. What makes you say that? Don't say that, Peter. You're gonna jinx me. Do not say that! Because we're only supposed to be in here until we get our memories back. Once we do that... You really think it'll be that easy? Xavier! Guys, we were dragged in here to reveal who the fuck screwed over Chris's sister. Not all of us could get out of here alive. That's that's what I keep thinking. Like, you know, Xavier is like an asshole, but he has like the right point. Like, that's what I'm thinking too. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I'm saying that maybe there's a chance some of us won't make it out of here. Will that be the case? Chris, I trust you with my life. I'm sure everyone else here does as well. But we have to be realistic. If we were put in here strictly to reveal this truth the kidnapper keeps saying we know, then one or more of us could... All right, enough! I'm putting my foot down right now! Oh, damn it, Peter. Peter! No, Lisa. Everyone, shut up and eat. We can't be doing this right now. Especially since we don't know what will happen. It could be a ruse to get us to turn on each other for all we know. Right. This kidnapper did erase our memories. Maybe he's bluffing to get us to hurt each other. You know, silence never felt so heavy. Everything is a mess, and we're all scared. Me, most of all. I'm supposed to be the one who decides everyone's fate, but what if I can't? What if I find out who was a part of my sister's disappearance and I can't bring myself to hurt them? What if I do get the strength to hurt them? I don't know what to think. It's true. What do you do when you don't know how much time has passed? The mask hasn't appeared since the first game, and there's no way for us to tell time. For all we know, it's been a day, maybe more. The only thing we can use to calculate the time is food and sleep. We've had two meals since the game, a supposed dinner, and maybe breakfast. In between, we simply slept the best we could. Who knows how long we'll be in here? I gotta get us out of here. It's all on me. I have to play through the kidnapper's sick games to get us out. But I could also learn the truth about what happened to Sarah. It's all- I hope it's all a ruse. I sincerely hope no one is involved. Thinking to myself isn't gonna help. I need to talk to someone. Ooh, shit, we gotta talk to somebody. Peter, Xavier, Lisa. Oh shit, what is her name again? I forgot already. God damn it. I kind of want to talk to Xavier because we have the same mindset right now, and I just, I just feel like I need to talk to him. I should probably spend time with Xavier. He seems to understand what's going on. Most of all of us. Is it necessarily a good thing? Who knows? Where is he? Maybe he's by the laser door. Why? There's no way. There's no way out from it. Xavier? Huh? Oh. Hey, Chris. What's going on? Nothing. Just thinking. That's all. Thinking? What about? What What does the ladies or door make him think about? Is he trying to find a way out somehow? Let me ask! What are you thinking about? About a way to get out. There's no way in hell I'm gonna let us just sit around waiting for some psycho to kill us. That's noble, but we didn't already establish that there wasn't a way out. The savior looks pretty focused, though. I'll find a way out for us. There has to be some sort of weakness. Weakness? Huh? Oh, sorry. Game term. Game term? Why would you use them now? And how is the weakness just a game term? Game term? Why is everyone being so suspicious? I don't like this! Yeah. Force of habit, I guess. Don't know why I said that. Got it. I think? So, 
remember anything? Huh? Not really. You? Yeah, I remember a couple of things, but they're not really helpful. What do you mean? I remember G for L. What's that? G for L? The thing on his shirt? What is he? What is he even on his shirt? You mean that logo you're wearing? Yeah. I think it's a game guild of some sort. Okay. It means game for life. At least that's what I remember. Huh. How did you know that? I just kind of looked down and thought about it, I guess. I see. Well, if he's a gamer, then maybe he can figure out a way to beat the system that keeps us in here. Gamers are smart, right? Hey! Right. <laughs> I don't think I ever had the time to play games. What did I have time for? And why was Xavier a part of a gaming guild? I don't think I've ever seen merchandise for esports like that. That That is true. I mean, like, there's a lot of, like, esport teams that have, like, really weird logos, but they're essentially they're very specific to either, like, what they're, they're gaming for or, like, a genre. It's not really, like, a weird-looking symbol like this. This is very peculiar, so... Hey. What is it? If you need any tips or tricks with that game you have to play, just ask, all right? I don't want you to freak out during it, even if our lives are on the line. I don't know whether you'd be freaked out even more by his statement or, or be relieved that I have held. Yeah. Thanks, Xavier. Anytime. I guess there's not just a lot we can say to each other, huh? You can practically tell from my glance that Xavier is like an alpha leader. What does that make me in comparison? He seems so chill and cool, even though we're stuck in the really bad situation. Why, though? I'm gonna go rest a bit. See you at dinner, I think. Whenever we eat next. Hmm? Okay. Oh, sure. See you then. Xavier's being a real big support. I'm sure he'd be able to win every game the killer threw his way. Slightly envious. I'm slightly scared. So, <laughs> it's almost dinner. From what we know of, at least. Meaning it's been a full day. Does that mean there won't be a game today? I guess not. Don't say that. That's assuming that the games are, are scheduled and not random. Well, then, I'll make us dinner. How does, uh chicken noodle sound you cook sure. the last three meals let me cook this time you sure yeah we should all take responsibility and rotate cooking duties besides i noticed we had some spices i can make something special very fair we can all cook fairly well except for xavier huh how do you know yeah uh, how did you know that i just <sighs> whoa lisa whoa hey i gotcha <sighs> My head! I'll get water! I think it's the side effects of the beta blocker. Oh god. What do you mean? Propanolol is sometimes used to stop headaches, but only if used in small dosages. We were given a modified version of it, focused on blocking memories. So when we remember, or even try to, we're activating some sort of side effect? Possibly. I don't know what the kidnapper did to us, but I can only assume that whenever a memory triggers, we get headaches because of the large amount we were given. Great! Amazing! Good. Here, <laughs> Lisa, drink! Th thanks. Rosa seems to know a lot about whatever is keeping our memories locked. Um... Didn't... Did, am I wrong? Am I remembering this wrong or something? But didn't Rosa say she was like a medical student in the demo? Or am I like stupid? I don't really remember. I'm gonna ask her though. Is there anything else you can tell us about this? Not without seeing the science myself. I've had a couple of headaches of my own to go on, but knowing that propanola was the key ingredient, I could make some theories. Like what? Like the medicine side effects. Drowsiness, dizziness, headaches in rare cases. That's probably why Chris passed out, right? Because when he remembered. We're not exactly the perfect lab rats. The kidnapper said that all of us are being affected differently by the medicine. I've been remembering things and haven't gotten a single headache. You haven't had any? Not one. Well, that makes one of us. Have you been getting them, Peter? Yeah, but they're not, like, terrible. I can handle the headaches I get. Okay, because, like, the only one who seems to have, like, the worst one was Chris, because he legit passed out. Still, everyone's reactions to it can tell us just how powerful the beta blocker is. Fair. Still, we have to get the headaches every time a memory hits? Great. Well, that at least tells us something. Huh? What does it tell us? That we can literally force our memories to return. It sucks for some of us, but yeah, if we can trigger it. Then all of us could eventually unlock our memories together, beating out the beta blocker. I feel like that might just kill somebody or like hurt someone really badly. Not to be a pessimist here, but is that safe to do? 
Lisa just went through a massive headache and... I don't care about the headaches. The faster we remember, the faster we can get out. I like how Lisa completely 180'd her fucking attitude all of a sudden. <laughs> Like before, she was like, "I don't give a shit." Now she's like, "I, I want to get, I want to get her memories back, and we need to get out of here." Like, what the heck? Peter's right to be cautious. However, what choice do we have? Do we wait until they naturally appear and hurt us anyway, or do we force our way through? I feel like forcing our way through could be dangerous. You know my answer. Same. I'm not waiting, Chris. Peter. Chris, what do you think? I think waiting out is the best. I just think that is the smart thing to do. I don't know. As much as it sounds like a good idea, what if Peter is right? What if forcing their memories causes the beta blockers to damage their brains or something? I don't want to walk out of here with a permanent brain damage, or I don't want like anyone to get hurt, seriously injured, you know? We should wait it out. They'll reappear eventually. So we're just gonna stick it out? Lisa, shut up! You're really making me mad! <laughs> Do you want to walk out of here with potential brain damage? We'll be fine. We don't know that, Lisa. I never said it would be safe. The trauma of forcing the memories can still hurt us. Maybe even damage the brain cells affected by the beta blocker. Chris, if you say we should wait it out, then we should. What the- Good. Xavier! Good! I trust Chris. We have to. After all, Chris is the one who decides if we live or die. That just- that just- oh god. <laughs> Way to remind me! Oh, here comes Mr. Mask. Jigsaw, are you there? What? Not to interrupt, but I believe a game is in order. Oh god, am I gonna kill somebody? God damn it, really? I guess the games are scheduled out. Oh, did I ruin the suspense? Leave us alone! We're not ready. Oh, is the monarch butterfly honestly trying to be a hero? How interesting. Just forget it, Chris. Lisa. Don't, Peter. Let's just get this over with. Yes, Lo Oh god. I'm afraid praying for salvation won't help you, Rosa. Wow! Screw you! You're hurting us and putting us through hell! I understand. Don't worry. You'll be set free soon enough. But it's up to Chris whether or not you see your families again. Wow, okay, this is great. What? So much pressure on me. Rosa, quit listening to him. Just get over here and line up. Rosa, come on. <sighs> Oh god, here we go. Alright, what is it now? now? Chris, are you ready for the next Just game? fucking tell me what it is, dude! What if I'm not? Oh. What if I don't want to go through this game? What if I just want to learn the truth and leave? As heroic and noble as the sentiment is, I'm afraid I can't allow that. Why? It's only fair. If your sister had to go through hell, why shouldn't you? Why shouldn't these insects experience a form of hell they'll never forget? This is why I keep thinking the mass is possibly Sarah. Cause like, who else would have vengeance for Chris and his friends if not Sarah? Cause she was the one who was involved directly being kidnapped and whatever else happened to her. I don't see the kidnapper like being like, yo, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna torture these people, it's fine, like, I don't really care. I wasn't affected terribly out of all this, but I'm just gonna, like, torture them. Like, it makes no sense to me that it would be the kidnapper. It has to be Sarah. Hey, fuck off. We don't even know if what you're saying is true. We could all be innocent. Of course, Xavier. Of course. Just let them go and I'll learn the truth on my own. You don't get to decide that. Huh? No! Whoa! If you do not decide their fate, then I will happily take the reins and judge them myself. Sarah deserves that closure. How about no? How, How the about... hell can you know what she deserves? Because I know the truth, Chris. I know everything that happened those five years ago, when she was taken away from you and your family. And if you do not go through hell to learn that, then I will end this myself. See, see that that part, if you do not go through hell that I learn, to learn that, then I will end this myself. That's why I keep thinking it's her. It has to be. Chris, just do it. Huh, Peter? Just get over there and play the stupid game. We trust you. Oh God, here we go. You got this, just focus. Oh God. How sweet. The other insects are depending on you, Chris. Isn't it tragic? There's nothing tragic about my friends depending on me. Your friends? 
You mean the ones who helped in Sarah's disappearance? Screw you! Unless you want to tell me who was responsible, they are all my friends, and they are all counting on me. If this whole game really is meant to me, meant for me to judge them, then they are all innocent until proven otherwise. I can't let this kid ever get between us. What? Got nothing to say now? That's not what. That's what I thought. More proof that this could be just a ruse. I just gotta run from this freaky bird thing, right? I figured you would expect Freaky bird that. thing, oh god. But there's a new part of the story No, please, why? I, I already had difficult count. times with the fucking maze. What is it now? Now, where did we leave off? Ah, that's right. The butterfly ran into a sweet ladybug. The ladybug was on its way to visit its family and was running very late. But stopped for a moment to chat. However, the ladybug checked the time and quickly left to continue its journey. The hoots of an owl calling for its haste. How does that part change anything? <laughs> <laughs> well then, I guess you'll just have to find out. Oh god, I'm gonna die in the maze again. It's obvious that the butterfly in the story is my little sister. That means the kidnapper was pretty much watched during the entire time and study who who she interacted with. Ew! The question is, is the ladybug one of my friends or is it just a distraction? I guess we'll have to find out. Better focus. Let's go. Oh god, no! Ah! How do I get out of here? What? Oh my god, this is this is like this is like anxiety inducing. Are you fucking serious right now? So what do I do? Oh shit. Yes! The water seems to have stopped! Thank you! Yup! You know it'd be nice if um this wasn't happening right now. Shit, dude. Why? Fuck, 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 fuck my life, fuck my life, fuck my life, fuck. Oh, dead end. Alright, that's cool. Ah, water stopped. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, no problem, dude. Just wish that uh, I wasn't doing this right now. That's all. God damn it. 16 seconds? Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, please. Jesus Christ, the water stopped. Thanks. I didn't get one, though! <gasps> <laughs> you lose, Chris. Truly a shame. Shit, I am not good at this kind of stuff. I'm just letting everybody know that. Stop! Let them go, please! Wait, he's filling all the tanks with water? Even the ones I saved? No! Rosa, Xavier, Lisa, Peter, no! This can't, this can't be happening! They believed in you, Chris. I guess it finally gives Sarah some closure. A, pl a plus gamer right here! <laughs> Too bad innocent blood had to be spilled to achieve that. So, they kill them all anyway, it doesn't matter. Innocent blood, that means- Wait, they were- <laughs> Oh, wow! Um... I pity you, though. I'm afraid heaven doesn't allow murderers through their gates. At least she won't have to see your pathetic face in the afterlife. Goodbye, Chris. I will see you in hell soon. Okay, well, uh... Uh, fuck, dude, what the fuck? Okay, so, he did- that, That's interesting. That's really interesting that the guy said innocent blood, which makes sense because it's saying, like, so, did these guys not actually have anything to do with, like, the kidnapping with Sarah? Was it just all of Ruse, like we were all thinking? Or is it a trap? Because this motherfucker likes to fuck with everybody. God damn it, I am not good at my mazes. I'm sorry, you guys. I hope you know. It's like fucking- my anxiety is getting the best of me. <laughs>
anyway, I'm gonna end it there, and I promise, I swear to God, we'll get past it in the next part. But, uh, I will say, I'm excited to see, like, what is gonna happen, because, um, I was watching Michaela do her, uh, live stream, and she mentioned that, uh, Kagi, or uh, Alejandro Sapu, voices Chris, his voice acting is pretty phenomenal in this, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, I should mention also, Michaela gave me some Steam keys for Remember Remember, so I decided I'm gonna do a giveaway each episode, um, and give away one key. So if you guys would like uh, a game key for Remember Remember, just, just, just make sure you're subscribed to this channel and comment down below that you want the game key and who is your favorite character from Remember Remember and then I'll pick in the next episode who wins it and then we'll go on from there. She gave me five keys so I'll pick five winners for each part. If you guys enjoyed this video remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions and if you would like to support me on Patreon there's a link in the description where you can check it out. Uh, you get early videos, uh, extra videos for Patreons only and a bunch of other cool stuff too so if you want to check that out or if you want to check out my store to order a bunch of prints uh, since it is Friday, I do have a sale going on. If you add Open 10 to check out, you get 10% off your order. This ad this offer will end on Monday the 15th, so if you guys want to go ahead and do that before it ends, I'm going to be shipping out this weekend. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye! You! That sounds nice. <laughs> Bark! It doesn't matter how many times you say my name, Galcaster, I won't be able to buy stuff. I, I, I get the feeling Ida is like the mother of the group taking care of everybody. <laughs> you done? Yeah, let's go back in.